the movie's great. I got to see it and it was amazing. Um, and I really love the character of Olive. Um, it's weird calling her a character because she actually exists in life. Yeah. Um, what drew you to, to her into taking this part? Wow. I mean, I read the script. I loved it. I loved the story. I couldn't believe that I didn't know any of this before. And I love the fact that I, you know, it's so rare to actually see a, a character, a female character or a character in general, go through an entire arc that's a genuine arc in a script. I actually see a woman grow up from this kind of naive girl who's unsure of herself and really sheltered, raised by nuns, to a woman who's empowered, knows what she wants, is willing to sacrifice to get it. She's a family. She, they, they, all the characters are completely three-dimensional. They've got their own identities. They've got their own sexuality. I mean, it, there was just like nothing, it, what's not to like. Now, was there anything about this story uh, that surprised you or challenged you or kind of confounded your expectations about things like relationships, sex, gender? I don't know. If, I mean, the whole script itself surprised me. I don't know that there was like one specific thing I just thought it was great that it's a story because you see these three people who are clearly completely in love with each other, completely respect each other, and then as far as I'm concerned, if those are the circumstances, anything goes. Um, and I feel like anything that normalizes sex or makes it less taboo is good. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, lastly, what do you hope people take away from the film once they've seen it? The fact that Wonder Woman was created with love by a man who was a feminist before it was fashionable. Um, <coughs> so sorry. It was an amalgamation of these two women he loved uh, and he wanted to spread the idea of a woman fighting for peace and love in the world.